Hi everyone, welcome back to Style Novice. This week is part one of two super simple DIY cushion covers that I'm going to show you how to sew over the next couple of weeks. These are easy envelope style cushion covers which means no tricky zippers to be attaching and you can put any design you like on the front. So this week I'm going to be showing you how to do a ruffle style design and ruffles are much easier than they look, trust me. Your machine does half the work for you. So keep watching on how to make your very own DIY ruffle cushion cover. To make your DIY ruffle cushion cover you will need a cushion insert. These can be bought in varying sizes or you may have one that you're looking to repurpose. You'll need some fabric. Now I'm using Colourco because it's the lovely natural speckled colour tone I was after. This may not be the easiest fabric to work with if you're new to sewing as it frays really easily but I was going for that vintage worn kind of look. You're also going to need a measuring tape, ruler, pen, fabric scissors, sewing pins, matching cotton and bobbin and a sewing machine. But this next part is all about how to measure the fabric that you're going to need and it's going to vary depending on the size of cushion insert you're using. If you're buying a store-bought insert the packaging may tell you like mine what size cover they're designed to fit into. If not perhaps you're recovering an existing inner, fear not here is how to measure. Place your cushion down on a flat surface and lay your measuring tape on the cushion in the centre but holding the sides of the measuring tape out. Visually take your measurement for the sides. You'll notice if you lay your measuring tape across the liner from one seam to the other your measurement will be a good couple of inches longer. We want the insert to sit nice and snug so the cushion is full and squishy and not sagging and baggy around the sides. So take this width measurement or the measurement given to you on the packaging and to this add a 1 inch seam allowance. Next take the height measurement and double it. Add 3 inches to that and another half inch for a seam allowance. My cushion insert was designed to fit a cover of 16 inches by 16 inches so my measurements were 17 inches by 35.5 inches. You'll also need some extra fabric for your ruffles of course, so take your length measurement and double it. You can choose a width that will suit the type of ruffles that you're doing and this is personal preference and also dependent on the size of cushion that you're making. I chose two pieces at 3.5 and 6 inches wide. To make a start on the cushion cover, measure out your fabric. I mark my measurements against my measuring tape, then join the lines with a solid ruler. Cut and iron. To each short edge of the fabric, iron a half inch seam allowance. And go ahead and sew these in your matching thread. Next lay your fabric on your tabletop, seams facing the table, good side facing up. Measure from one short edge, half your original length measurement, so for me this would be 8 inches, and pin on each side and the middle at this point. From those pins measure the original length, which for me 16 inches, and mark with pins. So the square shape we've just created within the pins dictates the area in which we can decorate and will show on the final cushion. Next is on to the ruffles. Go back to the long strips you cut earlier. If you're using a fabric that tragically frays like mine, you'll need to either pinky shear the edges or sew a line right around the fabric as close to the edges as you can get. On your sewing machine, change your stitch length to the longest possible stitch and change the tension to the highest possible tension. Backstitch at your starting edge but not at the end and leave yourself a decent amount of thread to pull on later. Use these machine settings and sew a line on each of these pieces of fabric either down the middle or down one long edge. The fabric will start to gather by itself as you sew. With the unfinished edges, take the top stitch and pull on it to further create more ruffle until the length of fabric is the length that your cushion cover space requires. Sit 
simply take the top and bobbin threads and tie a few knots to secure. To finish your cushion cover, lay your ruffles out on your cover as you wish for them to appear and one by one, pin in place and sew. For the side ruffles I sewed just to the side of my original stitch to avoid any bulkiness and for the middle feature ruffle I tried to follow the original stitch line as close as I could. Next with the ruffles still facing upwards on your table, fold over the top piece of fabric until the pin line you marked previously. Fold up the second half of the fabric to create an overlap and this creates an envelope effect. Quickly double check your folding matches the measurements you need and pin the open sides into place. Sew along both open edges before turning the right way out. It's a quick iron to smooth off the cushion cover and you can slide in your cushion insert. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed making this DIY ruffle cushion cover with me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be the first to know when part two comes out next week where I show you how to make a DIY bow cushion cover. As always, step by step and written instructions are available to view on my blog site which you can get to by following the attached links. I'll see you next week for part two.